It's lost. The red? Yeah. yeah. Alright, there's no gimbal on that one. This is a bit more problematic. This is going yeah. all over the place. But I'll, I'll record this as well and we'll just... Cool. That's great. Yeah. You can adjust that if you want to or... He's a very nice guy, and we won't say anything about the fact that he's New Zealander and left there a long, long time ago. But he is representing him well. He's a star, and one day when he grows up, he's going to be a hell of a star. When I get the big pants, when you get the big pants, you can do whatever you like, David. Yeah, thank you very much. Yes. Now these are the group of guys over there that are going to be the observers for this next race. So if there's any argument, they get to call it. So I don't need to say too much. That board there is um, where you work out which fleet you're in and who's observing. Pete and Jude are doing all the hard work. See Pete, he looks stressed, but he's really a calm guy. And that is Mr. Tim. He's also a very calm man. And that's Mr. Dave. Hello, Mr. Dave. Hello. So John Pushy, pushing him. We'll be watching John as we go. He's one of the uh, all-time stars. I like and that is Mr. Richard Fisher. And he is PROing. And that is Mr. Winton. No, Gary no. Winton. Observing. Sorry. You've gone way off base there. I knew nothing about it. So while I'm standing here up on the back. Oh. This gentleman here is from South Africa. He owns everything. He's a star and in the A fleet because he deserves it. So I won't interfere with him one little bit and distract him at all. How you going, Roy? All right. I won't distract him. Mr. Buzz Coleman over there helped design the damn boat and he's a star. The little guy there with the yellow jacket on from Australia, Mr. Chris Fisher. We're going down, <coughs> switching in, Mr. Potter. Americans, Mr. Idler. I'll get up here out of the way so I'm not standing in front of Greg. Greg, Greg North from the US and the Swedes. Mr. Mr. Winton. I've wandered down here. This gentleman is a judge. He is a star. And we need to respect everything he tells me. Like, go out of my hair, donks. <laughs> okay, looking at boats. This is the start procedure. You get back off the line. Try and find yourself a bit of space so that you can pick a wind shift, work your way up to the line and hit it hard and fast so that you go all the way through and it's difficult there's 24 boats out there and they all want a bit of space so you try and pick your sail number out of that so these are the best of the best they're good at it 51 is mr twittingham One, two is Buzz, and he's going to get in the way of everyone here. Now looking at the back of the fleet, they come all the way into this wall, and then they've got to try and get out and about and that was Mark Gollison he is one of the favorites but he's obviously not done that very well attacking away from this wall is actually quite hard 
Mr. Twittingham had to do a penalty. That's rare. I won't interfere with Mr. Buzz. He's not happy. He got excited and left early and they called him back. That's Buzz's boat. He's very fast. He will catch them up. You watch. Six four four is Gary Winton from the US. A very good sailor. He hasn't had the best of regattas. He's been down in D fleet and C fleet and B fleet, but he's up with the big dogs now in the A fleet. <laughs> so uh, we'll wander over. There's a gate at the top there. You'll see. Check the the little waves. This is a venue with amazing waves which you don't get when you're sailing around the rest of the world so it changes how you do stuff and leading out in front is Craig Craig is uh, Craig is a very good skipper closely chased by Chris Dance and then after me after him is Sean Pidler from the US Followed by John Watt from the Australia. 20 is David Potter. And they're nosediving a little bit now on that wave, but that's fine. These little boats can handle that. The DF95 is such an exciting class. Look at that speed. Just moving. 142 is, is uh, Peter from, uh, Feldman. And uh, from the US, very quick sailor. The one with the uh, oil rig on it is Rig North. up at the back so they're dragging the sheet at the moment Mr. Chris Dance has got to the front so Craig's out there in front I'm higher than him so he may have to cross behind there's Sean Sean's doing good John White David Potter and the Swedes doing very well. Looking at this now, 142 is that Peter Feldman. There's Tushy, Peter, John Tushing him. Get out of the way, class. 23 is our New Zealand member, John Latham. get in the way of the recording. This wall is a bit of an issue because you get bounced back off it. Um, but, but it is exciting sailing, there's no question about it. So step back a little bit here. Mr John Jorgis talking to uh, Nigel Brown who makes sails, cat sails. Very gentle, great gentleman. Makes amazing sail bags if you're interested about storing your sails well. Um, yeah. bit of a clash there. I won't call it but Chris is doing a penalty as he came across and it may cost him a position while it has. So Craig's flying closely followed by Sean. Chris's boat got a little bit out of control there. Look how fast you've got to walk down this platform, just so you can concentrate on your, on your boat. Every little move with that little joystick moves at a heck of a lot. The whole sail setting, where it's going, 
sail setting, where it's going. So you literally have to run to keep up with them. There's not many radio control boats that you have to do that with, but in this venue, with these big little boats, uh, yeah, it's important. I'll just do a scan around because you haven't seen the whole venue yet, not while I'm commentating. Spectators everywhere. We're live streaming so you can see a couple of cameras up there. Stop it about there.